Good morning. Welcome to Texas Style Cuisine. I'm Chef Johnny. Got my dear friend Jeff Gore here with me today. And I tell you what, we'll be talking a little bit more about Jeff in a little bit, but he's going to be playing on our video today. You're going to get to hear some of his music. Anyways, what we're going to do today is, we, you see we got our camp stove back out. We are camp cooking. I got bacon frying over here. And we are going to just be cooking up a good camp breakfast with pancakes and bacon. And we got some good ranch hand blend coffee going also. So what I want to tell you is, if you like this kind of cooking, if you like to see things like this, hit that subscribe button and click that bell so you get notifications every time I got a new video up. Also, I want you to go look for Jeff Gore. I'm going to put a link to his channel down below. Jeff's starting to put some music up on his channel. You're going to be able to find some great cowboy music. You're going to be able to find some gospel music that he puts up. He's a wonderful person. So go, go to his channel, subscribe it, and go watch the videos that he's got up and go in there. And remember, we're going to cook pancakes today that we got from uh, Pioneer Flour Mills here in San Antonio. So stay tuned, and we'll make you up some pancakes. Now we're gonna get started on these pancakes and, and I tell you what, if you're going camping or even at the house, you don't wanna make things from scratch all the time. You wanna get the kids fed, get them to school, whatever, get to, to what you're going to. A pre-made works good. Pioneer has a very good mix. What I've done is I've put three cups of their mix in this bowl and I'm gonna to add to it, I'm gonna put about one and three quarter cups of water. Depends on how thick you want your batter. If you want a little thicker pancake, don't use as much water. This calls for uh, three cups of batter and two and a quarter cups of water. And I'm gonna go about one and three quarter cups of water. I like mine a little thicker. This says it'll make 18 to 24 pancakes, I think. But I'm gonna kinda look, I'm a little thick there. So what I'm gonna do is add a little more water, but I don't think I'm gonna add all of it. And you shouldn't mix it a whole lot. It's going to make your pancakes more tough. You want a kind of a little lumpy looking batter on here. But we'll mix this water in good and get it going. Pioneer has a whole line of products y'all can look at. Uh, we're going to be doing some of their gravy mixes, uh, just their basic baking mix. We're going to look at that also. If you look, see that's kind of lumpy. I'm going to put just a little bit more. So we probably got two cups instead of two and a quarter in there. There we go. I like that consistency. Mix in that last bit of water good. Got my cut coat. My wife said that's the best whisk there is. I don't know if it is or not, but we use it. Works pretty good. Now, there we go. Our batter's ready to go, and we're gonna see if we can get them on this old Coleman camp stove and cook them up. Right here. That is looking pretty. One thing to remember when you're making pancakes, it don't take a real long time. You got a good hot fire. We're gonna let it kind of dry up on the edges. Bubbles start popping on the top, we'll flip it. Now I'll tell you one thing is, when people go camping sometimes, they pre-make their batter. And the problem with pre-making your batter is, baking powder is double active. It rises because of moisture, and it rises because of heat. If you've already mixed it with your water and it's a day or two old, you've lost some of that fluff and that rise from your baking powder. Doing it this way, mixing it up, it's just as easy. Put you up. You know, if you're going to have one meal, put you, you know, two cups of batter, a cup of half of whatever the measurement is of water, and pour it in there when it's time to make them, and you don't lose that. But you can see here, we're doing really well. The uh, bubbles are starting to come through, and we're going to see if we can get this pancake uh, flipped over. Now you can see these bubbles are starting to pop. That means that one is getting ready to flip. It still feels a little bit soft to me. Try this way. 
Here we go. Nice flip. It's gonna cook up good. Remember, don't take a long time. A minute and a half, two minutes each side. Thank you, dear. There we go. Let's cook that last side. Thanks for stopping by Texas Style Cuisine today. Hope you enjoyed our pancakes we did for you this morning on the camp stove courtesy of Pioneer Flour Mills. I tell you what, folks, they turned out good. Give them a try. Also remember, Go down there and subscribe to Jeff's channel. I got a link in the bottom. Click on it. Check out the music he has on YouTube. He's a great friend of mine. He's a great musician and a great person. So make sure you stop by Jeff Gore to get a look at his music and everything that's going on there. Thanks for stopping by. Share us with your friends and family. Share us on your social media. Make sure you subscribe to both of our channels. And we'll see you down the road on Texas Style Cuisine.